I filled this sketchbook in 10 days and I haven't looked at it in two years. Shall we have a look and see how embarrassing it is? Today we're having a look through this sketchbook. This is my fourth sketchbook ever completed and this is the one that I finished in 10 days for the 100 heads challenge but that was two years ago and I haven't looked at it since. Just a quick flip through the stickers. These ones are from Dove and Moon. I won a giveaway. Don't think that she's running the business anymore. Then I placed an order on sticker app just to see what they're like. So this one is from there. This is a freebie that they sent and this one is also from there. I quickly discovered that the stickers are very colourful. So when I upped the vibrancy, I didn't think it was going to be this bright. I actually really liked my body art paintings and they were well received on TikTok and Instagram. But this one in particular, I then posted to YouTube Shorts and I guess it went to a slightly younger audience who were very confused. I got a lot of strange comments from it and I actually got to the point that I never uploaded the process for this one. I mean, I like it. The human body is normal. Everyone looks different. I'm genuinely a little bit nervous. Let's open it up. First we've got the title page. I just put the 100 heads challenge here. I'm not sure why I did it this way round. I think it's because originally I was planning to do the entire sketchbook as landscape and then I changed my mind and it ended up being portrait. So it's a little bit messy. I started the sketchbook on the 25th of July 2022 and finished it on the 4th of August just 10 days later. In this art challenge you draw 100 heads in 10 days and I actually painted a lot of them because that's something I want to practice with. Since then I've actually drawn 100 heads in one day which was far more crazy but this was crazy at the time that I did it. I had some goals but I guess I forgot to tick them off but I wanted to use lots of different mediums especially like highlighters and I've spelled gouache wrong. I did it in order and started off with some gals which is my comfort zone. I think these are decent, that one's definitely better. I like the way that I did the hair a little bit wet on wet. It's a good introduction. Then I did four on this page. <laughs> I think that one's okay but the nose shape is wrong. This was a sculpture and I tried to make it look human. This was perspective which was really difficult but I did all of these on the same day so. <laughs> I do like this one, I think it's cute but I think I tried to do too much with the time that I had. Because I spent way too long on this one, I'm pretty sure this was the last one of that day. I think I only managed seven. Moving on, we've got these sculptures that I did in gouache. They're not good. This was the moment that I realised that I needed to work a lot faster. I think that one's red biro, just a simple green portrait. This was a yellow biro and it looks kind of crazy. I think it's kind of cool though in a slightly spooky way. I really should have added the days to this because I don't remember where each day ends and then begins. But next up, we've got this one. I think it's really pretty and you can see kind of that there's metallic watercolour. I think this one had a lot of potential and if I was going to spend a lot longer on it, I think it could be really cool. This one did not go very well. I tried something, it didn't work. Next, we've got this one. Okay, the metallic went really weird on this page. I think I just got the consistency wrong because it's kind of bundled up there on the side. And the same here, I think maybe I added too much and then all of the paint went here whilst the water moved around. But the metallic still looks pretty cool. They're just really simple drawings with the metallic background because I knew I had to speed things up. Next, we've got these three. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite pages. I love the fact that they're all one colours. I think this one was Hooker's Green, that was Ultramarine Violet and I think that one might be Vermilion. Like this one in particular, I think there's a lot of detail there considering it's just one colour with no colour pencil on show. It was also this time that I realised I could work a lot faster if I just add white gel pen highlights to the eyes rather than trying to leave a gap. These are too small to leave a gap like that. Now we're on sculptures. There, there's so many sculptures in this challenge, let me tell you. I had never drawn sculptures before this challenge and I haven't drawn them since. This is more than enough for me. I think this one's quite cute and I do like this guy. This person is Payne's Grey and Biro and I just really love how that one turned out. Let's ignore that one. Although we can't actually ignore that one because they're in it twice. These two are simple Biro and watercolour portraits. I was really trying to speed up at this point, I had to. 
these portraits, which they're okay. This one is quite cute, and I like the fact that the background kind of blends in between them. I think that's quite nice. This one I'm really happy with. I probably should have added eyelashes. I forgot to add eyelashes to about half the heads in this book. Maybe more. I don't know if we've seen eyelashes yet. I love the water blooms, and I love that it looks like watercolor. Do you know what I mean? This is fatty, and I know that I ended the day on this one, so I must have caught up. Next, this was a quick page. The highlighter one I'm really happy with though. I used four bright highlighters for this one and I just think it went really well considering. These ones were just biro, they were really quick. But I really love this one. For the next page, I decided to go for a loose watercolor style. They are very flowy, very messy. This one here is so flowy that I would never be able to recreate this again because it's just so unique to how the water went in that moment with the paint. This one here went okay considering considering it's like the size of my farm. Next, we've got this one. I like it, I like this one. I do, I like the orange background. It's not a colour that I use much, and I really like how the eyes went. This guy had a really unique look, I do remember. These ones I did on TikTok Live, and that's why they ended up like this. This one looks messy because the paint was taking forever to dry, but I think this one turned out pretty cute. I like the expression and I like the hair. Because I did it on live stream, I could only really do one layer, maybe two layers, because it just wasn't time for it to dry in between, so that's why it's a lot harder. More sculptures, look how many there are. I remember this one. It was at this exact moment that I discovered that my cheap Amazon fine liners are not waterproof. <laughs> I received them as a Christmas present and added the watercolor and it blended out slightly. But honestly, I really like it. I like this effect so much that I actually tried it again later on. The others are just really simple. This one's quite cute though. It's good to know that the fine liners did it, but I actually like the effect that it gave. This page, I. I am really happy with. It's not a very good blend at the back. The pirate isn't great. The purple one's kind of cute, but this is the one that I really like. I love how cute the face is, and I love that a lot of this was done with wet on wet. I think it just turned out really good. It's just a very patchy background, and the others are not quite great, but I really like this one. This is 46. What's next? We've got more sculptures my favorite. There were so many. <laughs> there were so many. These are sculptures in Biro with Payne's Grey in the background and honestly that granulation. This is why I love Payne's Grey so much. Can you see that granulation? It's just such a pretty shade. Like yes it is grey but it's a nice grey. Next up we've got these three. This one is Santa basically and this is also Santa. I like that it's colour pencil. That one's a little bit creepy. This is is where I was experimenting more with mediums and trying to speed up. I was tired. Oh, I remember these. I love how these turned out. Well, not that one. I like how this one turned out. And I quite like that I added some backgrounds at this point. These four were very fast. This one went awful, but I think this one here is quite cute. Considering this was basically just one layer and one color, I think there's a lot of detail in it. And I like that there's a lot of soft blends from slightly wet on wet or blending out. I had tried something similar for this one, but I don't think it worked as well. This is 58. We're over half way now. So it doesn't exactly look like this, but I'm sure you've seen the original before. This is how I decided to do it. I decided to stylize it just a little bit and add some metallic watercolor, which kind of shows. These three are the ones that I was talking about with the fine liner. I used the fine liner again and I added watercolor. I knew it was going to blend out and you can see that there's parts of grey, but I don't think it worked this time, which was kind of sad. These three I did in gouache. Look how ugly they are. <laughs> I don't really have much to say about them. They're a little bit ugly. That one's Gandalf. Doesn't look like Gandalf. They're real sculptures, actually. Maybe this was Gan- Yeah, this must have been Gandalf as a sculpture. I'm not a fan. quite like the background, and I quite like that they're kind of themed. This wasn't watercolour. This was actually my dried gouache, and I kind of used it like watercolour. These two, I remember I ended the day on this one because I was filming on my phone and ran out of space. It was a whole thing, it was a nightmare, I should have filmed the entire thing on time-lapse mode, but I filmed the entire thing up to this point on cinematic. I mean, nowadays I prioritize YouTube and just take clips from that, but this was back in the day when I was prioritizing TikTok, so I was filming on my phone as well as 
camera. It's got some metallic accents though, so that's quite cute. But I just remember this being a whole faff. This one here, wow, that one is something. You can't even see any details. I obviously was a little bit scared of colour pencils at this point, which is fair enough. I like this one, even though it's blue. They quite like the play on skin tones, where they're just kind of crazy. I quite like it. Or very like extreme, very bright. Ah, oh, more sculptures. <laughs> there were so many sculptures, honestly. It's like, it's bringing it all back and it's not good. This was the point I decided to just race through them. I did, this one is color pencil with fine liner. This is like watercolor with fine liner, watercolor with fine liner. I did these quick, I did them quick. I raced through them and we did them, we did them quick. These ones I did on live. I did some of them on live. I don't remember which ones. Maybe it was all of them. Frankenstein's monster. This is the same head as before. And yellow didn't quite work because it didn't have as much definition because it just wasn't as dark in value as what the blue and the red can go. So I don't think it worked as well. I mean, that one's quite spooky and I do quite like these eyes, I will say. Next, we've got this one. Oh, I like this one. This was a cop out. I painted the background orange using acrylics because I said I wanted to use acrylics for this challenge. I was really tired and I just didn't have the time to get all of my acrylic tubes out to make a skin tone to paint one individual head when I've got nine of us to do. So instead I just painted the background and the rest of this is watercolour but I think this might actually be gouache on top. It's, it's quite mixed media. This one here, I don't really know how it constitutes as a head but it was in the challenge it was a sculpture and I decided to do it in watercolour, kind of flowy, but I don't think it really worked. Oh, I like these little heads. These are sculptures, but I like them believe it or not. I ended up using dry gouache and I think that shows. I think it looks a little bit more matte, a little bit more pastel-y than watercolour. I like them all. I like the pink one especially and the blue one, but that might be because they are my favourite colours to use. After that I kept my gouache out and tried these and they went horrifically. I painted this using watercolour and I was hoping that it would be really lovely and flowy and it would just look cool, but it doesn't. Probably because I was trying to do too much in one layer, that's probably why. <laughs> this guy, I remember this guy because he looks young, because I forgot to add all of the wrinkles. If you could see the original photo, you'd see it's like I just, I just gave him an insane skincare routine. I like these, okay, I like these three. They're all watercolour with no colour pencil on top. I like that they've all got their own little square backgrounds. I think this man looks so cute as well. The man looks cuter than the child, honestly. I think it's a really cool page. I think it's a really well done page and I was really happy with this at the time that I did it. I knew that we were approaching the end so I was thinking about what kind of mediums I still wanted to use and highlighters came up so I did this but we used fine liner this time and I just don't think it worked. This person is missing the rest of their skull and I can't unsee it every time I look at it but I think it's it's okay it's okay. Now for the final one what is number 100? At the time, I wasn't super impressed with how this portrait was going, and I don't think the kind of clown elements were coming through enough. So I decided to dry brush paint along the side just to make it a little bit more clown-like, a little bit more like whimsical. It's a cool style. I would like to try this again, really. I didn't even realize there was a pocket. I never used the pockets. Well, that's it. That is my fourth completed sketchbook. And I was gonna say it's my fastest, but my third is literally done in two days, so that's not true at all. But it was still pretty quick. And if you'd like to see more sketchbook tours, I've got an entire playlist down below. I've also completed like 16 sketchbooks. If you'd like to see any more, let me know. Thank you for joining me today. And if you've made it this far, let me know by leaving this emoji down below. The actual 100 heads challenge is also down below. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Drink some water and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.